Hello everyone, this is Richard from Home Tech Video. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to review saved footage and saved video clips and how to export those video clips onto another device such as a USB drive in the event that you need to give some evidence to police. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first thing that I always recommend doing when reviewing video footage is to disable all of the live view of your cameras. This is going to help save on CPU power because when you're reviewing video or if you're trying to export video and save it, it uses a lot more CPU processing power and you don't really want your CPU to max out at 100% because this could cause errors um, when trying to save video footage. So in order to do, uh, in order to disable the cameras, all you need to do is go over to your uh, inactive profile button here at the top and you're going to click on this. Now by default, it's not going to disable the live view on your cameras, it's going to stay live like this. So you have to go in each individual camera and disable the uh, live view when the inactive profile is enabled. So and to do that, you're going to go and select the camera, right click, go to camera properties, go to schedule, and then down at the bottom here, you're going to uncheck continue to display and stream video while inactive, and then hit OK. And this is going to turn off that camera. And now my CPU usage is down to 18%. To review video, all you need to do is just double click on the timeline bar here and it's going to pull up the viewer window. And then here I can just basically, let me zoom out here, select any time on here. For example, this is September the 29th at 7 p.m. I can click on this. It's going to pull up everything that happened during that time. And I can hit play and see what happened. pause the video and also rewind the video which is reverse play. Now let's say there is something uh, in specific that you're looking for at a certain time of day. For example, I know my mail was delivered yesterday um, at around uh, 6 p.m. So I can click on here on the calendar which will bring this view up. It's going to show me any date that is red had a, um, or has a red dot here has video that was recorded. So I'm going to select the 29th. I'm zoom out here. Let's go to 6 p.m. on the 29th right here. Zoom in a little bit more and the mail is delivered at 6.03 right here. I'm going to hit play and then there's a mail guy. Now let's say that I need to, for some reason, save this video clip and give it to police. To do this, um, you cannot save to a single video file all of these cameras that was going on at one time. You can only save one video, um, like one camera at a time to a video clip. So when I double click on the camera, you'll notice that there's a new bar that comes up right here. So let me reverse this a little bit to show you how to save. going reverse okay so to start where you're going to when you when you export your video file um, to start the start point of it you would right click on the video and then go to start frame and you notice this green triangle jumps up to this point right here I can hit play play as much video as I need to and then when you're at the end of the video where you no longer need any recording let's let it run for a minute let's say right there. This little red triangle is your stop point. So if I were to export this video file right now, it's going to save about an hour of footage because it's going to start right here and go all the way to this point. I don't need all of this extra video. I just want to this point right here. This is the ending frame. So I can right click and go to set end frame. And now that red triangle jumped away over here. So when I export this video file now, it's only going to save this quick little five second video clip, not the entire hour long um, video. So to export this, I'm going to go over here to convert slash export. You can leave all the settings in here by default. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to name this video file mail. And then hit save. 
and then hit OK. This green progress bar is saving the video. Um, depending on how large or how long the video file is, it could take a while for it to export. This is only five seconds, five second video, so it only took a couple of seconds to save. Now that video is now saved to my desktop, right here. So if I want to review it, I can open it. And then play it. Now it makes it really easy to take this file and I can take this file and save it onto a USB drive or I can email it if I need to and this is your video clip that happened that you wanted to save. So let's go back into the program and I'll show you a couple of other things. Um, now working with the timeline, like I said, you can only save one video at a time. So if I need to go back to view all of my other cameras, I have to go down here to the timeline and double click. And it's going to bring up all of the cameras. So let's say I need a different view. Um, let's say it's this, this view that I need now. I'll double click on that. And now I have the op ability now to save from this camera a video footage. So if I reverse it a little bit. Stop right there. Right click, set start frame. It's, this is my beginning point when I save a video. Hit play, let's play a little bit. And let's say to this point. Right there, stop it. You're gonna right click and then go to set end frame. Again, if you forget to do this, then you go to export, it's gonna export however long this video file particularly is, which is an hour long. So you don't want to do that. You definitely want to remember to do your set start frame, set end frame, and then export. So that's how you review um, camera footage and how to export a video clip onto another device. Um, don't forget when you get done with this, if you want to go back into your live views where it says cameras where they're inactive, all you need to do is go down here and double click and then click on the little clock icon to enable your icon or enable all your cameras back. And that's it. It's easy as that. So thank you for watching this video and uh, have a great day.